We've got a really crazy uh, tips and tricks video for you today. We're going to have a look at some of the best angles that you need to know on all of the ranked maps in the game. So without me talking anymore, let's jump in and get started. What is happening guys? It's Alan here from the Dangleberries and I'm here again with Elevate to bring you some tips and tricks that you need to know. Starting off with the first angle here located on a consulate. It's located down inside the basement level and if you place a Kiba barrier over that yellow door, it adds that extra bit of protection for this angle. Now if you run back into the security room and jump up onto the counter and breaking the TV in the very corner, you can get up onto the TV on the desk and walk across onto the shelf. Now from up here you can watch all the way through out the wall towards that yellow door and you can also watch anyone coming in from the backside. This next angle takes us over onto Oregon, just located off the trophy door into dorms. You can actually look at the floor exactly where I've pinpointed on screen and you can jump up on the shelving unit in the corner. Now you can watch over the top of the bunks for the big window for anyone coming from that small tower side and you can get some easy picks and catch them off guard. Moving on over onto Canal for this next angle located upstairs inside the server room. Now if you shotgun a hole in the floor in the corner of the room and then shotgun the top of the wall below inside the break room, you can watch anyone coming in from that green door or making their way up the green stairs. Border is where we're heading over to next, located inside the break room. If you break open the floor right next to the desk where I've pinpointed on screen, you can watch through the window below in Passport all the way down towards the bathroom door. Now, if they're holding the site down there, there's a lot of activity in that hallway and you may be able to get some early picks in the round and catch the enemies off guard. Moving on over onto Clubhouse for this next one, located on the top floor inside the gym. If you break open the hatch and lay prone, you can watch anyone coming in from that strip hall door or anyone heading towards the main stairs. Onto Coastline for this next one located on the top floor inside the penthouse. Now I really like this one because it catches them off so much. For anyone sitting in that barrels area of service below, you can break open the floor right in front of the hatch and you can get a small pixel angles down into service entrance and into the bathroom next door. Moving on to bank for this next one, and this is a really nice long angle all the way through into servers. What you can do here is by breaking all of the stuff on the shelf when you climb up on the desk, you can run towards that little shelf and get up on top of it. Now, once you make sure that you've made holes all the way through Red Hall and into the other bomb site, you'll be able to watch people all the way through to that server door and catch them completely off guard. Moving on to Chalet for this really little simple one, located downstairs inside Wine. If you jump up on the metal shelf and break the barrel in front of you, you can make a small hole in the ceiling and you can watch anyone pushing in that main lobby door above. You can catch them completely off guard. You could use C4s as well if you'd like to catch them and get some early picks in the round. Thank you. 
Moving on to Villa for this really cheeky angle located upstairs inside Deer. Now what you can do is right in front of that blue container, if you make a hole in the floor exactly where I've pinpointed, you'll be able to watch all the way down that little hallway and up onto the Astro Stairs platform. Moving on to cafe for this next one, located on the second floor inside the reading room. Now this is an angle to catch anyone who's peeking that skylight above. If you shoot a hole in the ceiling exactly where I've pinpointed on screen, you'll be able to watch a perfect angle onto the corner of the skylight above. Moving on to theme park for this next one, a really simple but super effective angle to use here on the second floor inside the bathroom. Now if you break open a hole just inside the drone hole, you'll be able to watch down into Gong below and you'll be able to catch anyone pushing in from that side of the building and heading out Gong door into the hallway. Moving on to Outback for this next one, and now I'm sure a lot of you know about this one, but it's such a good angle, especially if you extend it all the way through the reception towards that garage door. If you break open the top of the reinforced wall and then impact the wall next to one of the cabinets, it will break the first cabinet and you'll be able to vault up onto the fridge. Now, once you're up here, you can extend the wall through into reception all the way down to that garage door so you can watch so many angles and movement from the attackers and get some easy picks. Moving on to Night Haven for this next one, shout out to Kudos for this one, it's located inside the IT room on the top floor. Now this is a three floor angle all the way down into that basement site. You can do it in two different locations here, first on the left side where you can watch the left side of that main site below, or you can move over to the right where I've pinpointed on the floor and you can watch the main wall for anyone trying to band a trick or Cade sitting down there watching that wall and you can get some easy picks. Moving on to Skyscraper for this next one, a really simple but effective angle located here inside the tea room on the top floor. Now you just need to break one hole in the floor next to the light and you'll be able to watch down onto that bathroom door from anyone coming in from the window or making their way towards black stairs. On to Emerald for this final angle here, located on the green hall next to the piano. If you look exactly on the floor where I've pinpointed, you'll be able to vault up on top of the piano. Now once you're up on top of it, you can then stand on the drum and you'll get an angle over the top of that little half wall, looking down onto the door coming in from outside. Now people coming up will always break open that door to start droning and you might be able to catch them off guard and get an easy pick. So that's it for the video today guys if you'd like to see more tips and tricks like this let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see and i will do my best to bring it for you make sure to keep up to date on everything to do with elevate by following their socials they're all linked in the description if you haven't got your hands on that elevate skin yet make sure to get the maverick bundle located in the store right now and they do have new merch available all the necessary links are in the description so until the next time guys i'll talk to you in the next one